Well, I got my new computer and I sat down to start editing a video and a little bit of a problem here. A new MacBook Pro, it's not new, it's, it's pre-owned. But here's the overview of my, uh, of my computer, right? So there's a 2.9 gigahertz dual core, Intel Core i5, 16 gig of memory. So there's the listing advertised for a 2015 13.3 Retina laptop. 16 gig, 256, which is twice of what my old computer is supposed to have. My old computer had eight in 124. So I go into here, let's just go to about this Mac. Go to storage. And it has a 251 gigabyte flash storage. I'm trying to edit one movie, and it tells me that I have 32 gigabytes of available storage. I can't even edit half a movie. This is this is the the movie that I'm editing right now. How do I free up extra flash storage? Like my head hurt. The other thing I wanted to do was to. Uh hook this one up to the TV so I could at least, you know, see what, you know, get information off this thing. Apparently, it has an HDMI cable. Apparently, you're supposed to be able to plug this into a TV and it'll work. Let's try that real quick. Alrighty. HDMI cable. Upside down. Plug that into the computer. No signal on the TV. What the fuck is my stuff again? What the hell is that all about? Huh? I get this symbol. Oh. There's no buttons, I don't have a mouse. That's what that's supposed to be. Can you help a brother out? How do I get rid of that so I can, if, if I boot this up, like if, I, if the computer's turned off and I boot it up, it'll, it'll show the boot up sequence on the computer or on the monitor. But then, and I've tried uh, a different monitor and it does the same thing. You get this symbol up here and it, there's, there's nothing, just a picture. What now? I'd also like to give a shout out to Al Martin for a very generous donation. Um, it's because of people like Al that I'm able to get, you know, a new computer. So thank you, Al. I appreciate it. Now, if we just figure this thing out, that would be great. Now, if I can figure out how to get a monitor to work with that old computer, I'll turn that into a desktop computer, get a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard, and just use that as like an external hard drive. Um, yeah. And I'll you know, replace the battery, it needs to be replaced. Check this out. So you see the little pads? It's supposed to sit on those in the corners. Watch this. They're completely off the ground. So. You see how swollen the battery is. Oh. Yeah, it's bulging. Battery's pushing the, the back out. I need to get this thing taken care of. 
uh, before I spend $50 on a battery. Look at this. <laughs> before I spend 50 bucks on a battery, I want to make sure I can actually, um, you know, view what's on it on a, on a monitor. I just took a drive up to the computer store and they were absolutely no help at all, but they'll take 40 bucks. And, and they'll look at it. So. I did discover that my uh, my hard drive is partitioned at 32 gigabytes. And, and I can't access the 219 gigabytes of free space that's on the hard drive. And that's what I'm trying to discover in both the internet. Uh, Google isn't being helpful. I can get all sorts of information about Microsoft computers, but not, uh, not the MacBook Pro. And I do a little bit more research about using this Thunderbolt cable. Apparently, I used those for, for a few years. It's these two Thunderbolt cables here. And uh, I was under the impression that you could connect one computer to another computer using the Thunderbolt cable. But the computer dick tells me, no, no, you can't do that because they're both powered and you blow them up. Well, who do you believe? You know? Uh, help? Well, I'll start editing videos again, and I can't even get through one. In fact, I could probably edit the video that I'm trying to edit today. Um, that'll, that'll, I'm not going to do it today. The video that I was trying to edit today, I could probably do it on my phone, and it would just work. It would work fine, but... The, um, the software that I use, iMovie, for the iPhone, is a little different than the iMovie that I use on my computer, and there's not as many features, and um, it's not as intuitive, and I don't really want to relearn everything just for a temporary fix. But if I must, I must, I guess. This is getting frustrating. Man, I got myself a migraine now. So if you got any insight, please hit the comment section. Tell me what to do. So, until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep powder dry, and have a splendid day. I'm going to put this stuff away and do something else. Bye.